Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for the sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn or Cross Watcher, wherever you have the planetary placement, please only claim this for your higher good and from your higher self and only if it resonates. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. Sharing is caring. Whoever you are, wherever you are on this whole entire planet, shout out to you. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to join us. We see you and acknowledge that and we're very grateful for your presence. Whether or not anybody else has told you this today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you, and it's a fact, and it's solid, and it's unconditional. If you need to contact me for any reason at all, my information is in the box below on how to do that. It's on you to reach out. And lastly, could you please hit that like and subscribe? It's fun. It's free. It's entertainment purposes only. It's the right thing to do, and it will make you feel good because it's positive energy you're expending out into the universe that will reverberate back to you. We are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, prosperity in every form possible to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this. Clear and ground for Capricorn. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source and the Archangels, Spirit and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination, Spirit. Please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Capricorn. Capricorn, we're at the end of retrogrades. Anybody could be resonating in any one of their planets at any time. And energy is fluid. Show me the energy. All right. Let's see who and how we can help somebody here today. Yeah? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. You have self-confidence. So somebody could be lacking self-confidence. This is Virgo energy. Somebody could be watching their friends or, you know, whoever in relationships and very confident and, and looking in the mirror and thinking they don't have what it takes. Somebody wants some kind of fulfillment here, 35 or 8. Somebody could be 53 years old. Somebody here, you know, it could be emotional fulfillment, sexual fulfillment, mental fulfillment, spiritual fulfillment, but somebody's looking for something, all right? Here. Now, you also have power. 36 or 9. 369 is megahertz today. 369 megahertz, 369 hertz. This is your healing sound bath. It's the sound of creation, manifestation, and third eye activation. So someone wants control and power, either over someone, something in their life, or maybe even in the bed. There's a triumph. Yeah, look at what I'm talking about. See what I'm saying? Control and triumph. Here we go. Let's get you some romance angels, and then we'll get right on over to the uh, tarot. Here we go. Show me the romance angels. The Capricorn, 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 honeymoon. All right, so here we go. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Here we go. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Well, that's nice, right? One more, the Capricorn, please and thank you. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Here you go, Capricorn, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, that's what it's looking like here. Yeah. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right, let's get you some tarot cards now and see what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn, please and thank you. Capricorn, Capricorn, clear and concisely, please. Capricorn, thank you. Here we go, Capricorn. You have, well, those are nice so far. Okay, somebody could be in some kind of denial. Or maybe they feel like they have to make some kind of a choice. They could be trying to ignore some kind of a situation here. Um, they could, you know, feel like maybe they're stuck in the middle of a situation. Or something's about to move rapidly forward. Rapid forward movement. Whatever that is for you, it's going to be different for everybody, right? But whatever it is, it could be your diet, it could be correspondence, it could be traveling. Somebody's watching somebody here, okay? Either moving forward or... Just watching someone maybe be in denial and try to deny something. At the foundation of this situation, there was a ten of cups. Happiness, harmony, domestic bliss, an alignment, family, love. Ten of cups. Security, fulfillment. Show me. What's crowning? What's crowning Capricorn? Capricorn. Capricorn. You got the seven of swords. Somebody's doing something for Gazy, okay? A betrayal, a lie, deception of some sort. Some kind of trickery, scheming, or strategy. What's coming in? Capricorn. Capricorn. Capricorn, please, and thank you. Got a queen. No, we got a nine of pentacles in reverse. All right, so it's so over here. This is uh, material instability, reckless spending, superficiality, or perhaps, you know, not being rewarded for whatever effort you put into something. It's the struggle bus, okay? It's being on the struggle bus, the nine of pentacles in reverse. All right, show me. 
It's an ending. Could be an ending to the struggle bus. That would be good. An ending to something new could begin. So if you're in the struggle, especially financially, looks like it's coming to an end. You have Virgo and uh, Scorpio energy here. Show me. Okay, be strong. Leo energy. Be resilient. Ha do not have any self-doubt. This is about confidence. This is about overcoming self-doubt. This is about, you know, inner strength and bravery and courage and controlling the beast. One of my cards is self-control, right? Having strength. Show me. Somebody can hear, be here going to some kind of like country fair or a fair here. Somebody has little red boots, the little red Uggs I'm seeing. I'm seeing grapes on a vine. Show me. Oh, let's see what's going on with these cards. Give me. Give me what's coming in. Okay, there you go. You have a knight of wands. Somebody coming in. Now, this person could be Leo. You know, they could have Leo in their chart, but somebody gallantly, this is the hero. The Knight of Wands is somebody very charismatic, energetic, brave. It's a hero, adventurous, a free spirit, fun. This is some kind of fun here. This is somebody that just, you know, goes out and pursues what they want. This could even be you, right? There's something you don't know, something you don't see, something going on in the shadows. Whatever this is, it's coming in right under the Seven of Swords, people. So there's something for Gazy going on that, you know, unless you're doing it, behind your back. That, you know, maybe somebody's watching. Maybe you're in denial about this. Maybe you know what it is. Now you've got Cancer and Pisces energy. Show me what's coming in. What's in the future? Eight of Swords. Up in your head. Stuck. Ruminating thoughts. Worry, fear, anxiety. Right? Ready for some kind of medication. Or something like this. Feeling like your hands are trapped or you're, or you're tied in a situation here. Nine of Swords. Eight to the Nine of Swords. Look. Somebody's got some kind of mental illness. Like... Post-traumatic stress, anxiety, deep depression, insomnia for days. Sorry about Tiberius. Not really. Good. Tips, get out. All right, let's see. Uh, hangman. Somebody could be stuck here. Maybe feeling like, again, their hands are tied or trapped in a situation. Perhaps with the hangman here, you know, this is about um, uncertainty, a lack of direction. Maybe needing to release and let go of something. The hangman is Pisces energy. Here we go. The best part of that whole thing is I think I banged on the desk and he thought it was like he was going to go defend the world. Like, <laughs> really? So funny. All right. Question is, who's defending him, right? All right. Here we go. Give me the... Uh... Here we go. You do have the Eight of Cups. Somebody's afraid to walk away here. Somebody's afraid of new beginnings. Eight of Cups is, is in reverse here. Somebody fears change. It's a stagnation. It's an avoidance, or at the very least, like aimlessly drifting along. What's Spirit's advice? Because they can't make a decision. Because they're stuck in their head with worry, fear. You know, this is what? Maybe in denial about some kind of betrayal that's going on under, in the shadows. Obviously, it could have something to do with a family, right? Show me. What's the advice? The advice is, oh, a new emotional awakening. Keep your heart open. Ace of Cups. Okay, so there could be a new emotional awakening on the table here. So just keep your heart open. Maybe you're going to offer it. Maybe somebody's going to come in and offer it. We'll have to see. Show me uh, Show me the outcome. You have the hermit. Somebody, needs, somebody could be very antisocial or socially restrictive here. Somebody here might um, need to do some work. Could be Virgo energy. Somebody may need to do some soul searching and some self-reflection. Or somebody just doesn't, you know, like people. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, they don't just like all the mixed energies. Okay, five of pentacles. Somebody might be left out in the cold here. Like I said, there could be some kind of financial ramifications here with the nine of pentacles. Somebody might have lost a job or some money here, Capricorn, okay? You might have to leave somebody out in the cold. Somebody might have to leave you out in the cold. You might have to do soul searching to do this. Maybe this, you know... Yeah, Page of Pentacles, you will have a new beginning. So this is good, because this could be in your finances, in case you have some kind of financial ramifications here, yeah? But the Page of Pentacles always talks about a new beginning. It's a fresh start, somewhere down the line here. Look, you got the Ace of Wands, something passionate, something, um, you know, enthusiastic. It's energy, it's confidence, it's inspiration. We like it, it's a match lit under somebody's ass. We get balanced out, you got the Four of Wands, happiness family. Something's going to make you really happy. Look at the sun. Leo energy here, right? So something can be illuminated to you, but you're going to be really happy. Let's get you some kippers. Hold on. Here we go. I got to fix my cards. They're a mess. I, that makes me very nervous with my OCD. Here you go. All right. So, so far we have, there could be a false person. Yeah, this Fugazi son of a bitch over here. See it? Be careful. Somebody's wearing a false mask here. They're trying to do something under the shadows behind your back. 
Somebody could be working really hard. This could be somebody in the office, right? It could be. It could be like, a, you know, a co-worker, 34 or 7. Somebody could be doing something with their hands that takes some kind of skill. Somebody could, like, this could be like a second job or keep, somebody's going to find some kind of great fortune, 26 or 8. Now, I don't know how you're going to find that. It's come different for everybody and not everybody's going to get a great fortune, right? But if you do, here it is, right? Somebody could be 62 here. Great fortune could be a lot of things. It doesn't always have to be, you know, money. It doesn't. Think about that. Okay, here. Yeah. Somebody I might have to go on a journey here. Maybe somebody lives at Distant Horizons. Maybe somebody's going to take a vacation, a day trip, you know, just to get out. Somebody could be traveling. Here, yeah, there's a message somebody could get of concern. Somebody might have to go to court. There could be a message of concern that you have to go to court for some reason. Now, let's see. These are some other signs you could be dealing with. Capricorn, maybe some moon phases. Let's see. We have last quarter moon. Take a breather, yeah? You also have last quarter moon. Reveal what needs to be seen. You have Cancer and Scorpio. Any more? Any more? Capricorn. Last but not least, Capricorn, you do have Cancer again. First quarter moon. Push through any insecurity. All right, Capricorn, thank you so much. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.